joining us to talk about that, Heis Gronovagan. He's founder of Silver Arrow Capital Management. That's a precious metals hedge fund. I mean, is it a new normal when it comes to gold and silver at this point? Let's talk about gold. Is it a new normal? No, it isn't. It's a, it's a normal reaction. When the market gets very panicky, yeah, they sell everything off and they go for cash and treasuries because that's really the largest market where you can park your money. But from a fundamental point of view, the dollar and the treasuries are no better, in my point of view, than the sovereign debt in Europe. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it's, it's more a great opportunity to accumulate more gold and silver. You'd be buying out big time. Yeah, you know, um, it could go a little bit lower, but we saw today already that, you know, the, uh, the price of gold went down to 1532, was picked up. Yeah, so we closed at around, what is it, 1620. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that there's a lot uh, of buyers waiting on the sidelines to pick up more gold and silver. How, what, what do you think is the most important thing to the gold market at this point, Heist? Is it what's happening in Europe? It must be. Or is it the general global macroeconomic environment? I mean, what is the most important thing to the gold trade at this point? It's, it's everything. Is it the it's, Indian wedding sex? No, no, it season? isn't. I mean, that, that's part of it, but that, yeah. that's not really it. What you see the last couple of years is that the investment demand has really increased for gold and silver. Um, but why silver has take, uh, taken such a hit on the downside is because silver is also an industrial metal. Mm -hmm. So on the way down, it acts like an industrial metal. On the way up, it's a precious metal. Right. And that's why you see much more volatility also because the silver market, of course, is less deep than the gold market. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't thing? read that when we see the silver market going down. We shouldn't read into it, okay? It is the no. macroeconomic environment, the global economic environment coming undone. Uh, so uh, many indicators seem to point to. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, as we just discussed, I think, you know, the facts haven't changed. The only thing that changes over time now is the perception that the Europeans are doing something about it and that they might come with some solutions, but it's not, they're not solving the problem, mm -hmm. you know. So it, they're just postponing uh, what will happen, in my point of view, in three months or six months or whatever, but it will happen. We will get the default. The only reason why they haven't mentioned, uh, called it a default right. in Greece is purely because otherwise the banks would have to take the loss on this sovereign debt and then you get this this ripple effect will, which will go through the banking system so they want to prevent that at any cost right and the reason why gold and silver is getting sold off is purely because people go for cash as I said and treasuries because that those are the largest markets uh, where you can park your money so what as soon as there's a little bit of calm back in the market a little bit more optimism uh, and comfort that we'll start to see yeah. both gold and silver move up I, again? I believe so the moment you get sort of benign uh, circumstances that everything gets back to quote unquote normal again right I think you see gold and silver picking up again so what, don't okay. but with one more thing I would yeah. like to mention is don't forget that they had performed extremely well you know since the beginning of the year I was just so looking at I was just looking at gold it's up about 14 percent even with the pullback that exactly. we've seen it's up 14 percent for the year exactly what do you think will be by the end of the year We're at what at 1621 right now uh, you, you asked me a difficult question because everything depends on the circumstances for example how how they deal with the situation in Europe and so on and so far um, they haven't done it so well no but you know you could easily end up again by you know at two thousand dollars that that we have seen falls of a hundred bucks mm -hmm. you could also also have updates of 100 bucks because we're getting closer and closer to the final chapter yeah also in the US you know with the twist what's the final you know, chapter it's the, it, it's the last uh, <laughs> you know tool in the toolbox in my point of view He's wait Go ahead, Matt. What, what's the final chapter? The is final this like chapter, Armageddon uh, the final chapter when we need to buy revealed. guns, gold, we'll and water continued. and that's it? <laughs> what, when do you think, uh, what is the final chapter in your opinion? And, and, and what do you think central banks' effects on this is? I mean, at some point, if the price gets low enough, don't they want to snap it up too? Say it again. What do you think the central banks are doing with gold at this price? I mean, are they selling it off? There's been a lot of reports no. about the last couple of weeks. Or are some central banks uh, actually buying gold? No, central banks are not traders, uh, Matt. Uh, central banks uh, are in for the long term. But you have to ask yourself why the central banks are buying gold. Because basically gold can be seen as the opposite of paper money. Paper money was the creation of the central banks, yeah, in order to stimulate growth and industrial production, etc., etc. And they buy buying gold. I mean, when, you know, why would you buy gold I, if I you got, create paper? I, pr I understand perfectly well, but are you saying when you say we're getting closer to the final chapter, is that the part when paper money is useless and you actually need to use gold as currency? Well, I think, uh, you know, definitely the monetary function of gold is increasing, no doubts about it, especially because of the inverse correlation which we see with the U.S. dollar and gold. Yeah. 
But the moment, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, and I think it will happen at one stage, when paper money is not worth, the, you know, the amount that it's written on, is when you can't buy gold anymore with, uh, with your dollars. Heist, let me ask you, though. Gold down, what, 16% in the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there a point, we're at 1621 today, is there a point, it gets down to 1500 or 1400 that you start to get nervous, or do you just become a more no, aggressive I think, buyer at that point? No, there is no issue in terms of, you know, the fundamentals for gold and silver. Yeah, because the dip, big difference with paper is you can create as much paper as you want, but you can't do that with gold. You have to mine gold, you have to get it out of the ground. Right. So there is no manipulation. Yeah. What we see happening in the markets at the moment uh, in Europe as well as in the U.S., there's a huge manipulation scheme going on. Mm. You know, money is being created in order to try to give the economy some traction, which is not there. For example, if you look at Twist, where we go in terms of longer duration in right. order also to hopefully stimulate the housing market, you know, you can bring a horse to the water, but you can't make a drink. So if there's no confidence, Nothing is going to happen. So in five seconds, if it goes down to 1400 or 1300 do you become a more aggressive buyer? I think the lower it goes, the more aggressive you become in buying the precious metals. You because like on the more. longer term, nothing has changed. Okay, we're going to run. Heist, thank you so much. Welcome. Heist Grunewagen, he's the founder of Silver Arrow Capital Management. We're going to